Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I just finished uh, filming my Pinch Me box and my review on it, so you guys should go check that out. I will put the link down below so you can check that video out. But I definitely wanted to show you guys how I set up my living room, kitchen, playroom area for all of um Now, she is 10 months. I'm gonna sit down because I'm tired. She is 10 months old and the room has completely changed because she is developmentally, you know, different now from when I last filmed my room was like back in Christmas in December. And back then she was not really into like the climbing yet or any of that. So now she is. She's also taking steps, guys. She started taking steps as a nine month old. You know how crazy that is? Like my baby is no longer, well, she's still my baby, but she's just growing up way faster than I was expecting. Like she rolled early, she's like walking early. She even started like, I don't know, saying like dada. I don't, to me that was early. She started saying that like four months or something. It's crazy guys, like I can't believe it. But I definitely wanna show you guys my room. It may look a little messy, but really I set it up, I set this all up on purpose guys and I will go through it and everything. So I set it up mostly in the morning. Um, I usually try to do it ahead of time at night. The night before, Daniel and I usually clean everything up. We put all the toys away. We clean the toys. We also sweep and swiffer the floor, make sure it's 100% clean. And then we put the mats down and then I set up the toys in the morning. And if I'm too tired or if Daniel and I are too tired, we usually just leave the mats on the floor and, and you know, try to figure it out the next day. But Yes, she's 10 months, her development is different. She's changing all the time. She will be a year next month. Like, how crazy, April 28th, that's coming and she's going to be one years old. I'll have a one year old, like, I never thought that would happen, guys. But hey, whatever, well, let's get this video okay, started. Okay, so this is the room, the living room, right now. Right there. Yeah, exclude, um, excuse the table, it's kind of messy. But let's start over here in the kitchen. So I still have the jumper -roo. Um We're actually gonna give that back to my sister. Olive hated it. Right now she only throws toys in it and she put her uh, baby doll in it. Like, seriously, that's so funny. But um, she hated being in it. So right now she just hits it and like, you know, plays with like the little toys around it. And underneath it are like, you guys, I love my recyclables, come on now. Um, if you saw my other video, you'd understand. But um, she uses these as toys. She doesn't play like with actual toys. She really likes just regular like everyday items that I use like Tupperware and stuff. So yes, I let my kid play with recyclables. But she loves like going down, all the way down and going under. That's practicing her gross motors and problem solving. Cause you know, how do I get to that toy? Go down on my tummy and crawl like that's what she does and over there is like our little portable chair that um we were using but you know i hated it so right now she put her animals in it oh, my kid is so funny and then we have this thing over here and then we got my boxes with the um stuffed animals and toys in it i put the bears and animals here for her to stand up and reach for it so she's practicing some skills there um this thing guys I'm not a fan of it. It was given to us for a, as a Christmas gift. I hate it. I really don't like, you know, like it at all. But Olive absolutely loves it. So I'm not going to like take away. I'm not going to, you know, give it away or something. But she loves this thing. She loves opening and closing the door and ringing the doorbell. And she loves checking her mail every day. She checks the mail all the time and she also puts her toys in it. Like she loves this thing. She's trying to problem solve right now. She tries to put her hands in these little holes and tries to grab the toy, but like, you know, it's too big. So she has to like open it and figure it out. It's like really great for her. But as soon as she's done playing with this, like it's like over this toy, it's out. I like don't like this, but whatever. Okay, moving on. I have my noodle box here. Just have some boxes here. Olive actually lined these up, guys. She put the tube things here. It's great. She carries it around, moves it around. You know, she does whatever she wants. Over here, I just have a quick box, and inside, inside the formula that we use is little blocks. She loves these blocks. She doesn't like stack them up just yet. She likes to just throw them everywhere and it does make a sound because it's tin 
at the bottom so she likes hitting it and like making sounds and drumming and she just pushes this or stands on this and goes around with it so over here is my makeshift um, climbing structure so this is from the couch she likes to climb up and down and the other day she actually would take a ball and roll it down which is really cool so she climbs over here I have pillows and I got this like safety mat and then I got she has her little rings here that she obviously was playing with and then she uses this like stairs like climbing structure stairs that's supposed to be right there but she climbs it up right there and she loves this toy and she tries to reach for things I usually have stuff right here this is under like our TV and entertainment area anyway I used to have stuff hanging here but I was like so scared she's gonna pull everything down like the TV and stuff so I'm like uh maybe not but I might hang it up there because she likes to reach for it it's pretty cool and then over here let me just close the gate real quick we have her line over here um, I put it over here so she could like move across the floor you know much better so nothing really is blocking her way and here's the couch that I was telling you about we do have mats around the couch and some pillows around the couch uh, right now I'm trying to teach her you know when she climbs up the couch is to turn her body around and use her legs to go down because right now she's going head first to come down the couch and stuff but yeah this is the couch she usually she's pretty good at sitting down or lying down on it and like just chilling out <laughs> And over here is this blanket area. It's just a blanket and I got some blocks and toys, like more manipulatives and some pieces for her to figure out. Olive, as you can see, has put this toy on top. She's figured out that circle round goes in here, but she hasn't just figured out that it goes down like this. So it was just sitting like that, which is pretty cool. And then you guys saw this in my last video. Here's the mat. I have some books out over there. And I've got some, you know, chew toys. I've got a basket to pull things in and out of. This sheet right there, she loves... My daughter's weird, I know. She loves to just roll around in it. I don't know, but whatever. And we got her remote, but we do have the pillows here. Um, the pillows have to stay there only because I have this back here. We haven't changed our, you know, sliding door just yet. So that's just blocking that so she doesn't play with it and like scratch in between it because it's like has there's like dirt there that I can't get out. And then we have her dinosaur. And then Daniel, okay, this is a Costco box. Daniel put holes on the bottom of the Costco box, and Olive has figured out how to put the balls in the holes and it comes down. It's really cool. So I just set it up like this for her to figure it out. And we got more blocks there for her to like, you know, build or whatever she wants to do. And I do have her car way over there. Of course, that is to move up and down so she could like maneuver her way and use her gross motor movements. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and I do have my painting activity right there. She likes to, ugh, it's just a Ziploc bag with some paint in it and she likes to like go like this and do shapes and it's, you know, I, did, I don't put too much because the sun hits it perfectly so you can kind of see through it and like, she likes doing this, guys. She actually figured out how to get the ball and just go like that, which is really cool. But yes, so this is the downstairs we have set up right now. <sighs> I will show you guys upstairs when she wakes up. All right, guys, so when you are thinking about setting up your room, I hope this gave you some ideas. Um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. You could, you know, leave your comments down below. If you think I'm missing out on something, just leave your comments and let me know. But here are some tips. Set up your room, your play area, you know, as safe as possible. You know, you do want to challenge your child. You have to think where your child is at, you know, developmentally. You don't want to do something where they really can't physically do it and then they stress out your child stresses out which stresses you out even more so just think of your child where that where he or she is developmentally and just do it you know you gotta think cognitively physically like where is she at her gross motor movement her fine motor movements can she really do this you do want to challenge your child just a little bit like for reaching things you want to put it kind of far enough for her to use her toes and try to pull up on her own 
but you don't want to put it too high where she's trying to reach it and she can't achieve that goal. You want her to be happy or her, him happy, you know. They want to be in an area where they can express themselves, play, and you know, do whatever they need to do. Also, set up your room in a way where if you have to run to the bathroom or if you really need to just walk away for a quick second, your child can be left alone for that minute. You know, your child has to be safe. Everything down here is completely safe for her. I know you guys may not think so, but I know my kid. So everything down here is safe. All the electrical, like every, all the plugs and outlets are completely safe. She can't electrocute herself and she hasn't stuck anything in it anyway. So whatever. But yeah, so that's how we set up my room. I will show you guys upstairs when she's awake. I'll see you guys in a minute. Guess who just woke up from her nap? Little Miss Olive, say hi. Say hi. Isn't she cute? All right guys, so as promised, let's go upstairs and I'll show you how I set up my room. You wanna say hi? Oh, there you go, say hi. <laughs> She's shy. All right, let's go. So this is how I set up the room. Olive is already over there playing. Say hi, Ollie. <laughs> so this is how I set up the room. This is pretty much it. I'm not gonna show you guys the I'm not gonna show you guys the office because it's pretty cray. But here's the stairs and there's the gate. Olive likes to run up and down right here in the um, hallway. That's my room and then over there is her room. So nothing here can harm her. I do have laundry over there. Those are that's like all of, uh, Olive's laundry, so nothing crazy. Um, but we do have two doorways right here only because this room used to, this house used to be five bedrooms. They took the wall down over here, so now it's one big room. So I didn't do it, other owners did it, whatever. So we do have entertainment center here. It has Daniel's Xbox and TV. We rarely watch TV up here. Um, Daniel rarely plays video games these days, but. He wants to start playing with Olive, but yeah. So these are just some toys we have. These two long things are from a play mat, and Olive just likes to wiggle it around. We got her cube, and then we got, you know, you guys know I love my box. So I have my box over here and some toys. We got a tent here. Olive loves it. And this is the book area I was talking to you guys about. We sit here, we read books, we calm ourselves down, and then we do the whole change diaper, nighttime, you know, nap time routine. And then this right here is just another climbing thing for her. It's like the backing of a couch. So like from our old couch, it was like from a long time ago, guys. But yeah, just some stuff here for her to do. And that's pretty much it. So nothing too crazy up here in this area. We do have the office area and computer area, and Olive is right now by the computer. She's just like, let me play with the computer, guys. Let me goodness, go get her. Goodness, my goodness. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And remember, when you're planning out a setup layout for your room, oh! Lay out for your room, be safe, and think of your child's development. All right, Olive, you wanna say bye? Wanna say bye? Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Oh, God. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.